Let's f***ing lose. What up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Hanging in the garage today. Got a little quick Halloween hack for you guys, and when I say quick, I mean quick. This is something most people would never do, but I figured, you know what? I'm tinkering around. Let me see if I can make this work, and to my surprise and my delight, it's pretty awesome. So, you guys probably see these things all over the place every Halloween. Here we go. Five-foot posable skeleton. Yeah, I got some blood on it because that's how I roll. And they got the try me button. So when you push the try me button, you get the LED light up eyes. These things are all over the place. I got this for like 30 bucks a pop at Home Depot. You can get them at Walmart and Target and all sorts of stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick hack that involves your 12 volt landscape lighting. So let's see if we can hardwire this guy so it turns on and off every time your lights turn on and off at night. Because I don't like using switches, batteries, you forget to turn it off at night, you come out, you got dead eyeballs the next day, or you forget to turn it on. So let me get into this without any further ado, and I'll show you what I've done. One, put this bastard face down on your workbench, get a screwdriver, a small Phillips, and take this battery cover off the back of his head. Step two, remove all of the batteries. Get them out of there, get rid of them. Step three, this is very important. Leave the try me cable plugged in to the back of the skull. You're gonna cut the button off and you're gonna splice the end of these two wires. Very important. Step four, we're on step four, right? Whatever. So we're gonna take a jumper cable, take a little piece of speaker wire. As you can see, I have crimped on. Uh, I've added a couple of crimps here. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of sneak it down there behind the battery terminal on one side and you make sure you go all the way to the cross corner on the other side so that you can close the circuit. Yes, you can solder this. Even if you don't have the crimps on the end of your little cable, you can shove the speaker. Listen, it doesn't have to be a work of art. It's just showing you how to do something nice and simple. If you guys watched five seconds of my channel, you know that I don't really go by the rules. So let me get this in there, keep moving along. Boom, there you have it. In there nice and tight, not going anywhere. And then we go ahead and put the back of this dude's skull on, and then we move on. And we got his skull back put together. Now this is the important part. We got our two leads right here. You're gonna wanna grab maybe a 12 volt, you know, like a Malibu low voltage lighting power pack, or if you got a power pack for whatever you're using for your 12 volt lights. If you already have it in the ground, maybe do this test on one of your underground cables, or if you have an extra one in the garage, like I do right here, we're gonna put it on the test bench. We're gonna, we're gonna test it. So uh, step, I don't know, what, six? Let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. So uh, got the two leads wired up to a short cable on one of my little uh, low voltage power packs. So let's turn the switch on. Oh yeah. Now listen, I have actually quote unquote bench tested this. I hooked this dude up the other day and just let it sit for like eight hours. There's no heat, there's no overheating. The resistors in the LED lights can clearly handle the 12 volt load. And now when I tap this into my low voltage lighting, you can actually splice in, and my advice would be maybe like a six or an eight foot piece of speaker wire onto this. And uh, I'll show you that in a second, but here we go, running on 12 volts, on and off with the timer, super cool, spooky ambiance, whatever you want to call it. But uh, there's a couple more steps, so let me get to that real quick. All right guys, finished product here. So. I took a couple little mini wire nuts and hooked up about seven feet of speaker wire to this. It doesn't have to be a work of art. It's a Halloween prop. You're only gonna use it up, you know, for the month of October. So I got a nice long six, seven foot piece of speaker cable here. Now this is important to know. You don't need to have any special taps that go into your low voltage line. All you need to do is if you need to strip it back a little bit underground, you can twist and tape these in, connect these into your low voltage lighting cable. That's fine. I actually have a couple leftover little um, line taps that I'm using for my landscape lights. So I'm going to tap it in. And it's important to know that yes, even though when you take the battery cover off the back, it's got like a little rubber seam inside of it, but I've taken it a step further. If you look here, we're gonna use some of this. Clear silicone, I think it's water ready and within 30 minutes. And all I did was fill them, um, you know, 
seal in the gaps and it's very important here you want to seal in around the back side of that uh, try me button where you plug it in i've sealed it around the switch all the screws and then around the seam on the top of his head even though they're meant to take some water i figured i'd go the extra mile so there you go all done i'm going to test it tonight and we're going to wrap this up let's do it all right final product i have way too much time on my hands all hooked up I got the uh, LED landscape light, so I was thinking maybe doing like a red. There's already a light shining up under him, but you can see the eyes are on. Blue looks dope. But uh, either way, that's beside the point. We're all hooked up. Let me turn on the flashlight and uh, so I can show you what's up. All right, cool, flashlight on, here we go. Got him hooked up in the back. This is just a test run. And then down here, got my landscape light. And I just got two little taps in here right there. So the same underground cable that I use for my landscape lights is just tapped in for the skeleton running the LED eyes I'm telling you I mean hey listen if you got time whatever but uh, looks dope they'll be on every night when the landscape turns on and shut off on the timer and I ain't got to worry about no batteries mm -hmm.